Is it really? At the moment I'm meeting guys on a paper meet basis. We just go for dinner, that's it. Call it a night, dinner, cocktails, goodbye. I ask for a sum of money for the date. You know what I mean? It costs all the effort I've put in to get glammed up and stuff for him. If I like him, we get along, maybe then he's a POT, a potential sugar daddy. They want to meet a girl that brings and injects like youthfulness back into their lives. You know some guys like the schoolgirl kind of fantasy. So there's sometimes there's role playing involved. It's interesting sex. It's not just, you know. How do you feel when you do that? When you dress up as a schoolgirl? I enjoy it too. It's fun. I like a schoolgirl, you know. But um, I am a schoolgirl. I'm at college, but you know what I mean. Some girls just do escorting, but they call they like to sugarcoat it. <laughs> and, and you know what I mean. You're saying that they do sugarcoated sex work. So what is it that you do then? I maintain a relationship with these men. So it has all the elements of a normal relationship? Yeah, just I'm being financially supported. That's, that's literally it to a T. For me, it's not about the money they're giving to me. It's about how I use that money to make myself financially independent. Adriana. It sounds like an 18-year-old. If I was 18 again, that's what I would be. I am officially going to become a sugar baby. There I am, Adriana. I'm looking for a girl I can get to know and become friends with. That's important for me. I'd like to meet them three to four times a month and we could spend time together with a few hours of intimacy kiss. Interesting. Define intimacy. He's typing. He's so quick. <laughs> oh my god. No, he just spelled it out. He's just said fucking in all its varied forms. Can't be more specific than that, can you? I had a message from a guy called Jim. He said he wants to meet at least twice a month in a London hotel for some intimate fun and he'll pay me £250. I feel like I've entered the world of sex work and it's through sugar dating websites. Situation. 
So I didn't realise how difficult it is because he's so nice and friendly and he's not creepy. So it makes it harder to try and leave because I feel bad. Like, because I feel like he spent money on the hotel and he's so friendly and nice and he's just like, should we go now? And like, I'm struggling to say, no, I'm so sorry, I can't do it. And he's been up front with me that he wants sex. So now I have to go back and say, I'm so sorry, I can't do this and I'm scared. So I'm just gonna be like, Phew. I'm just like, I should have just said it then, but I didn't. Oh my God, I feel so bad. I don't think I can do it. Just send me your message no. if you don't feel comfortable But I'll pay for the room all the way. It's fine. I don't want to be all good. OK, thanks so much. If you change your mind, you let me know. I'll let you know, yeah. yeah? OK. Well, thanks. Lovely to meet you on it. You're beautiful. Thank you. OK. Take care. Bye. Bye. He just told me that the majority of people on Sugar Daddy websites are there for sex. That means that this platform has become a place for older men to pay young girls for sex.